Today I'm tying a 3 8 ball in a pattern that I like for fall walleye. Stay tuned. And we're back. So today I'm tying a uh, 3 8 ball uh, head jig that it's just a basic jig and it's a color combination that I really like using in the fall. Just a regular plain 3 8 ball head jig. And the colors that we're using today, um, for the fall I like browns natural browns, dark browns, brown and yellow, brown and orange, brown and fluorescent yellow. Though for this jig, we're going with a root beer color. Um, so this is a little bit darker than the cream, but most certainly lighter than a dyed brown tail. It's a color I don't tie with all that much, um, though I like to have it um, these special colors in my tackle box. So to begin with, uh, I'm going to use a size A brown thread. This is a Fuji rod wrapping thread. Uh, Pack Bay is one of my go-to uh, brands of thread. Uh, since Good Rod is no longer around, uh, but Fuji, the Ultra Ultra Thread, uh, it's a, another really good choice um, for rod wrapping thread to use for your jig tying. So this is a size A, and I am all tangled up here. We lock this on as normal. Beginning with our root beer. We are going to add a little bit of flash to this. So I'm going to do it in a little bit different fashion as opposed to um, adding flash down the lateral sides of you know each side of the jig down the lateral line uh, we're not going to use the crystal flash we're going to use the new age crinkle flash which is similar to flashaboo in its material um, though it does have that texture to it um, there's additional colors so it's not just a straight gold flashaboo but it's the gold stone new age crinkle flash is what we're going to use and I like the flash to be slightly a little bit more subtle on this jig and I don't know why um, uh oh keep this pinch tight I think when I first started tying this jig for myself, I ran out of crystal flash or didn't have the gold color that I wanted. And the New Age Crinkle Flash just happened to be the new thing that I had recently discovered uh, grabbed up a bunch of different colors and started adding it to different jigs. Occasionally I do add the New Age Crinkle Flash down the lateral lines, um, but for this one I think I was just rushing and, um, you know, I was tying jigs the morning of, you know, going out and fishing. 
so this pinch stayed nice and tight. Lock that back into place. A few wraps towards the bend of the hook, a few wraps towards the head, and then give this a twist. Uh, so I think for time's sake, I was trying to get some jigs finished quickly um, so we could get out fishing. And um, I ended up putting the crinkle flash right down the center. Along the hook shank. At this step here. So it's a little difficult to count out individual strands because of the crinkleness of this. But I grab, I don't know, this is about 10 to 15 strands. You get a nice color selection. There's some blues and purples as, as well as gold and yellow in this pinch. And I wet the crinkle flash just like I was threading a needle to make it a little bit less unruly. I trim the ends just to get them all the same length. So I can lock it in with very little effort. Sometimes it, it takes a, a try or two. But the length of the flash is slightly, just a slight bit shorter than the length of the hair. I don't want the flash to extend past the tips. The thought being that uh, those longer fibers, you know, will fool the fish into striking a little bit sooner. As soon as they feel that tickle on their nose and they start biting, right? And then I take my pinch of fluorescent yellow. And this has a few of the brown fibers from the back side of the tail kind of mixed in. I don't get too worked up over that. A little bit of difference from jig to jig I think is just fine since things in nature are not identical. And then once you're happy with the pinch you can measure it just to make sure that the bucktail top and bottom are the same length. Switch your grip one last time and keep this pinch tight. A few wraps towards the bend of the hook, a couple wraps back towards the head. And I do double check just to make sure that the flash is underneath the fluorescent yellow. Now as it's fished, of course, it does splay out and come out the sides, of course. That's how you get the flash. But just to make sure that it's good on both sides. And now I can finish the collar. And lastly, I take a length of size A thread from a, of a different color than my uh, bobbin thread. Place it underneath neath the last wrap. Walk it back about a third of the way, back up to the head. Ideally we want a nice comb shape, a nice clean collar. And to finish this off, a coat of lacquer based head cement. I do like using fluorescent tails um, on walleye jigs. Uh, the fluorescent, of course, has those UV properties and 
you know, glows in the black light. Is a walleye able to see in that color spectrum? I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, though they do um, seem attracted to a lot of the fluorescent colors. So there might be something to be said about using the fluorescent colors. And there we go. Let me turn off my face. Real pretty jig. Really like this jig. And like I said, it's uh, one of my go-to colors in the fall. So I like this uh, root beer color with orange, uh, with a plain yellow, with olive of course, and then a dark brown with the root beer as the belly. So what do we got coming up? Um, I'd like to remind everybody to go to the website Jay Worth Hand Tied. Um, if you want any of the jigs that you see featured here, trying to figure out how to um, include uh, a custom section at this point, just contact us through the uh, website um, or you could go on the about section here on YouTube and just find our web address. You could shoot me an email, text, smoke signals, I don't care. Um, if you're looking for something custom. Uh, with that being said, uh, I think that will do it for us today. As always, hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. Feel free to share any of our videos as it does help increase awareness for the channel. Tie yourself up some walleye jigs. Until next time, guys, keep tying in tight lines.